You're live with Lucy Hawkins on BBC World News. Is Benjamin Netanyahu on the brink of a comeback? Israelis are voting in their fifth general election in four years. Another close result is expected. South Korea's top officials admit failures in the response to the crush that killed more than 150 people in Seoul. President Zelensky calls for Russia to be expelled from the UN and G20. It follows the latest missile strikes on Ukraine. We report from the frontline battlefields of Donbass. Look at it. Desolation. This is what months of attritional warfare does to a town. And President Bolsonaro is expected to address the nation for the first time since his defeat in Sunday's election in Brazil. He is yet to acknowledge Lula's victory. In the next hour, we'll be live in Washington, Seoul, Pretoria and Toulouse. Israelis are voting again today for the fifth time in three years after the ruling coalition collapsed in June. The country has been locked in an unprecedented period of political stalemate since 2019, when its longest serving leader, this man, Benjamin Netanyahu, was charged with bribery, fraud and breach of trust. These are charges that he denies. Mr Netanyahu ousted just over a year ago when it was the centrist politician Yair Lapid who pulled together a surprising coalition with liberal right-wing and Arab parties. Now Mr Netanyahu is hoping to stage a comeback with the help of parties from the far right. Let's have a listen to what he said just after he cast his ballot earlier today.